Hi, I'm Michael Thaw, Vice President of Advisory Services at Tech. And we're excited to present a conversation highlighting our partnership with Community Housing Partners, or CHP, and the complexities of selecting and adopting CRM and HCM software for their digital transformation. CHP is a community development corporation. They're dedicated to creating homes and communities that are healthy, sustainable, and affordable. And since 1975, they've served low-income and low-wealth individuals through a wide range of services from real estate development to energy solutions. As CHP grew and expanded their services, they recognized the need to embark on a digital transformation journey to improve their operations and better serve their clients. Modernizing their systems became critical to supporting their mission. That's where Tech came in, guiding CHP through the complex process of selecting the right technology solutions to meet their goals. In this discussion, you'll hear directly from key members of the CHP team, Bethany Garcia, Business Analyst Manager, Information Technology at CHP, and Raj Kasper, CHP's Vice President of Information Technology. To guide today's conversation, my colleague Victoria Chavez, our Team Lead for Consulting Services, and I will be asking questions that explore CHP's goals, the challenges they faced, and how tech's expertise helped them succeed. With that, I'll turn it over to Victoria to kick things off. Uh, maybe we can start with a general question on what actually led you to choose tech as your consultant to support you through this process. Sure, I'd be uh, happy to, to take that uh, question, Victoria. So uh, the project was significantly larger in scale compared to previous endeavors, and we anticipated it would consume uh, a substantial portion of our internal uh, resources, um, which would limit our ability to work on other projects for an extended period of time. Um, TEC offered the additional capacity we needed to evaluate solutions uh, while continuing some of our other project uh, ongoing efforts. Um, our goal was to ensure we would uh, find a long-term solution that met our needs. We were committed to following a thorough and sound selection evaluation process, and that's what TEC offered us. Excellent. Thank you. Can you comment a little bit in, in reference to the CRM project specific? Because we did happen to have the opportunity to work on multiple projects with you. And each time, as we said before, it was an absolute pleasure. pleasure. Uh, we just wanted to maybe focus for this purpose um, on this CRM project. Uh, can you comment about the uh, the challenges like lack of visibility and your different manual processes that you had for starting the replacement project? Do you feel that these um, that you were able to achieve these objectives? Sure. Yep, I can answer this one. Um, so the the main driver of why we were looking for a CRM um, was that our department that was um, needing this solution did not have a previous system at all. They were utilizing Excel spreadsheets to track the projects and the clients they were supporting. And they had multiple Excel spreadsheets that they were using to track jobs. Um, and they, at times, were providing services to the same household, the same client. But since they were using um, separate trackers, it made it difficult uh, for us to monitor our ongoing work, review past projects, and um, really just have a sense of all of the activities that were happening for a given client and across uh, all of the teams at one time. Um, we also did not have standardization of the process for how they were tracking their data within those Excel sheets. Um, so that meant that trying to capture and generate metrics was difficult. Um, and so it was hard for us to report out on the actual amount of um, work and uh, households we were impacting um, through the work that we were doing. So we definitely achieved those objectives um, with this project. Uh, now with our centralized CRM, everyone is working out of the same system, utilizing the same client records and capturing data in a consistent manner. So we can now have robust dashboards and Power BI that are allowing us to efficiently track current work as well as uh, valuable metrics for leadership. Excellent, excellent. Um, would you say that, or what can you comment in regards to the value that tech brought when it came to defining the scope and the requirements? Yeah, so that was actually an interesting one because we had taken 
We had undertaken um, kind of requirements gathering on our own before seeking out um, a, a partner for the software selection. Um, so we we had a requirements document, which was a great start, I think, for us to be able to convey to you all what we were looking for. Um, so really, when it came to the scope uh, and requirements, um, I think TEC provided just that additional layer of expertise, standardization, um, and experience to help us really refine and focus on the areas of our requirements where we had gaps and areas that maybe we hadn't thoroughly considered what we would need there. Um, so the, the standardized methodology of going through the requirements document, filling in those gaps, um, and uh, just really keeping the project on track um, because that was one of the larger, um, I would say, uh, difficult parts of the project was just getting all the stakeholders um, involved uh, from the beginning, finding the time to have them help go through all the requirements. Um, and so that additional capacity and support um, that was provided was uh, critical in just making sure we were able to um, really review and refine our requirements and break them down into um, into the format that was needed to then take them on to evaluate the the various um, vendors. That per that's a perfect segue into my next question in regarding the scripted sessions, scripted demonstration sessions that um, uh, Tech had created the scorecards for you, um, with you that um, covered your key use cases and understanding what it would be like to your software, uh, to use that software, what was the biggest value that you found from there, from that process? Yeah, I'll uh, answer this one. Uh, so I, I think the scripted demonstrations were truly invaluable to us. Um, they provided our team with a realistic experience of each system by showing scenarios that were directly relevant to our needs. Uh, they focus uh, on the um, critical features um, that were tailored to our requirements and that allowed us to better envision our future state compared to generic demonstrations that might be aimed at other industries. Mm -hmm. And then TEC also did an excellent job moderating the demonstrations and ensuring that vendors provided us with uh, relevant and clear information about their capabilities. And when vendors started to stray from the scripts, TEC staff steered the vendors back to the scripts. So overall, it was just a, an invaluable experience for us. Thank you. How did you find the contract review and price negotiation process? Um, even with a nonprofit organization pricing, um, how did you find that? Yeah, it was... Um it was much easier than other projects where we were left to kind of handle that piece on our own. Um, contracts and talking pricing can sometimes be, um, you know, a tricky subject, I guess. So it was really helpful to have um, TEC on our side, helping us really review the contracts um, and making sure that we were identifying any aspects of the contract that we needed to get clarification or questioning or um, modify, you know, potentially details that we would have overlooked on our own. Um, so we really felt like the expertise that um, our consultants brought in terms of just contracts in general, reviewing scope of service, um, making sure that there was certain language included was really invaluable in making sure that we had the best contract um, terms uh, and, and pricing for us as well. Specifically, there was um, a contract for one of our final um, vendors that we were evaluating and our consultant um, broke down the hourly rate that was included in the contract and found some inconsistencies and um, went back and pushed the vendor to give better pricing and adjust those values. So it was a significant um, cost savings for us. And that is um, that was something that we may not have thought of on our own to really you know take it down to that level and then to think to go back and do that negotiation. So it definitely was a huge help um, for us to have have that expertise um, in the, the contract review and pricing uh, negotiation. Thank you, Bethany. What would you say is the overall value that tech brought you um, in this project in terms of it being structured, maybe our knowledge and experience? Uh, you mentioned a few of those, but what would you say would be the overall value that tech brought to you in this project? Yeah, I will uh, attempt to answer that one. So 
uh, we were able to select the best fit vendor more quickly and efficiently than we could have on our own. So it was a time savings for us, a significant time savings for us. And then TEC also ensured that we thoroughly evaluated each product against our requirements and your expertise in conducting evaluations gave us confidence in our final selection. Um, additionally, uh, TEC helped ensure we received the best pr possible pricing from the vendor we chose as well. So it's kind of a few different things, but time savings, cost savings, and then confidence in uh, our vendor selection were all um, high value things that uh, TEC brought to us in this project. What were your um, expectations with from tech from the outset of the project? Did it align with that? I think you absolutely met our expectations. I, you know, this project was the first time we'd ever worked with um, tech. And so we just weren't sure, you know, entirely what to expect. Um, but uh, it was, you know, a thoroughly enjoyable and successful experience for us. And it made us want to come back uh, and and uh, come back to tech for uh, a subsequent project as well. So, yeah, you absolutely met uh, our expectations. Yeah. Bethany and Raj, do you have anything that you want to add? Yeah, um, I did want to just talk about, um, and it's been a while, is it called Tech Advisor, Your, the tool? That was for me when we were evaluating um, potential partners, that was a big selling point for me just because of how um, subjective I feel like people can be when doing a new evaluation you you fall for the system that looks the flashiest or has the best salesperson or something like that and I we felt like that um, an extra level of analysis made sure that we were objectively analyzing the products against our requirement sets and um, it really as Laura was just saying I think gave us um, that confidence to know where the gaps were before making a, a selection because of the way that the information was displayed within um, Tech Advisor that we could very easily see where there were um, potential gaps that a requirement was not met. Um, and the visual graphics, the spider, spider web graphics, um, made it really easy to also just visually see and compare different products and vendors against each other and really see easily where the strong points were, where the gaps were, where where there were um, commonalities. So that was a really, really helpful tool um, for us to to really feel good about the decision we were making. And yeah, that was it, something it, that we felt- It, it kind of apart. captured how you were making your decision and what your audit trail was to your decision, right? It yes, it did. Yeah, I mean, it just it, it really helped us to to take a look back at because um, as you're doing these demos, you might not remember all the the capabilities and feature sets and wait, did we see this one or that one? And so being able to really look back at that and analyze the the you know strengths the the score strengths um, between the vendors was just really helpful to yeah make sure that we really knew across the board which vendors met certain requirements, which didn't. Um, and also the cost analysis um, piece of it as well, where it kind of, the, the tool would show you over, um, you know, a, a three year span, five year span, your kind of return on investment. That was a really helpful metric to see as well. So that that was a really just helpful tool for us. Yeah, that, that, that cost value analysis is, uh you're entering into your final decision really puts things into perspective and makes sure that, you know, even with your best choice, you know what you're going to be negotiating for because you want to get the value out of it. So you want to focus on the value components and get the best price based on that. Right. Yeah, it, it definitely was just very helpful to, to it helps you see things in different lenses that you might not if you if you didn't have a tool really breaking it down um that way so it, it definitely helped to make us confident about our decision and just help um yeah val validate what our thoughts were you know kind of the gut feelings through the demos it really helped us kind of validate which way to, to that we needed to go thank you i'd like to Ross, ask a you... question if that's okay go ahead. <laughs> What uh, would you recommend tech to anyone that's looking to do any kind of enterprise software assessment? I can I can take that one, and then if 
Laura Raj want to add in too, they can. Um, yes, I, I definitely would. I think um, the benefit for partnering with tech uh, was invaluable in so many different areas. The additional just capacity that it gave us throughout the project to continue to focus on day-to-day -day work and other work. Um, it was like having just additional members of our own team to really help focus on on this project um, and and move things along more quickly than we could have on our own while trying to juggle other you know kind of day-to-day -day things on our end was really really helpful um again the um the tech advisor and that objective analysis was just really valuable and is something that you know taking on an enterprise software evaluation on your own you don't have visibility into that type of information and data. Um, so it just made it really, really helpful um, for us to have that. And then, um, you know, I've already talked about the time and the cost savings, but again, yes, there is a little bit of an investment um, to pay for the services, but in the long run, um, you know, having the contract negotiation and price negotiation is is valuable and can help make up some of that you know upfront kind of expense um but i think also making sure that the solution that you're selecting is the better fit long term is a huge savings in time money resources long term that you're not picking a solution that is only going to last you for a year or two and then you have to do another evaluation just doing it right from the beginning was um was really you know valuable for us so yes definitely was worth worth it and we would recommend it to anyone that was um looking for uh, a large-scale software replacement thank you and um raj do you have anything to add before we wind up i think bethany um touched on everything i would i would say so just i would echo um their comments there again i think the tech advisor tool was uh, a huge benefit um for our teams, not just um, our, our IT staff, but our subject matter experts and others involved, in, other stakeholders involved in the project. Um, so I really appreciated having access to that tool. And then I also would again echo um, earlier comments about uh, the, the tech staff uh, really holding the vendor uh, salespeople accountable and making sure that uh, they were truthful and, and honest um, about the representations they were making about their software so that um, we would be making as informed a decision as we could possibly make. It's been uh, an incredible pleasure and honor to, to work with you and the team. And uh, I have to tell you that uh, we at Tech are very proud of the accomplishments that CHP has made. and. Uh, we look forward to uh, your continued success. So with that in mind, I wanted to thank you very much for your time and your feedback and uh, wish you a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.